You just saw me eat cat litter, didn't you? Well, you know what? I'm not proud of it. I'm making this video so that you understand what's happening in episode 17. It was the year of our Lord, 2008. My friend Chris asked me to make him a penis cake from one of those cake pans that you buy from the sex shop. Got your results back. And, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but the test was positive. You're a basic bitch. I don't know about you losers, but I get all of my cake decorating supplies from the Home Depot. I don't fuck around. After doing a very thorough Google image search, I found the largest penis cake ever constructed was for Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead. And it appears that if I'm looking at the balls, and assuming those are 9-inch cake pans, we're looking at about 30 inches. That's fucking nothing. At four feet long, I broke this record without even trying. Chris has asked me to make him a uh, special birthday present. He wants me to build him a giant black penis cake. And, uh... I'm gonna do it for him because you know that's the kind of friend that I am. Over here are some supplies that we've purchased. Uh, one particular supply that I'd like to add is that uh, giant fucking spatula. Yeah, this has nothing to do with building a cake, but uh, it's fucking huge, and uh, I had to I had to spend money on that. Another thing I have here is a sanding sponge. The sanding sponge is to sand this giant two by four foot piece of wood that the cake is going to go on. Now, one of the problems that we're going to encounter is how to transport a giant black cock. One thing that I thought of was helicopters, but I called up the airport and uh, they hung up on me several times. So, we're going to sand down this piece of wood and put a giant black penis on top of it. They said it couldn't be done, but penis is nearing completion. We used 18 eggs in this project. I've been baking since 2 o'clock. What we have over here is a of construction. The penis cake was so hot at one time that it broke apart. Luckily, I repaired it with my giant, ridiculous spatulas that I bought. Over here, I purchased a bag of new spoons for no fucking reason at all. I just thought this was cool. Don't really I already have a lot of spoons, as you can see. In the freezer over here, we have second testicle cooling down so that it doesn't break apart upon re-entry. These giant penis cake pieces can be very delicate when you're maneuvering them around on the giant piece of plywood. This giant penis cake is almost constructed. The cake turned out to be a huge hit, and a whole bunch of drunks threw the cake all over uh, this dude's house and wiped it all over each other and shit. So uh, Steve got pissed off and threw it out the fucking window. <laughs> we got that on tape, so it was all good. Oh! No! 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 No!
<laughs> I wonder if I got it. <laughs> Fuck you, Phil Collins. I got it or not? I wanted those balls. The big crowds became bigger as the time of the funeral approached. Some people came with their own wreaths and flowers and others were taken inside the grounds which surround the house which Karki built for his mother. Fans, some of whom said they simply didn't believe that their hero was dead, told me why they were keeping their vigil. I'm a Kark. fan, I have been for 20 something years. I loved him, loved his cock. Sure did. And I'm real sad by what happened. I'm a good fan of him and um, I just think that I want to come to just to pay his last respects to him and just <laughs> she was very she was very much hands became longer the police prepared for a huge job of crowd control in temperatures of over 90 degrees Fahrenheit the local police chief Sheriff Gene Barksdale told me about the arrangements for the funeral but I think that all big black car fans realize the the seriousness and the uh, of the situation and I don't I'm not anticipating any trouble they all know that it's a solemn moment in the eyes of Memphis uh, in our state in our country and uh, I don't anticipate any trouble as the world's news media joined the crowds threatening to make this the biggest cock funeral since that of Marilyn Monroe I'll tell you what I'll tell you what let me say one other thing that I feel deep about is whether you're black or white whether you're country redneck or freak Young or old, from Moscow, London, or Memphis, big black cock, they will still be the king of cock.